Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Brandon. I wanted to discuss a topic that I've been thinking about lately that I think a lot of, that may resonate with a lot of you guys. And it basically pertains to the fighting and trying to push away the things in our lives, in our world as a society, push it, pushing against things that we don't want in our world. This is very common practice. Many of us do this. We do this as a defense mechanism. We think that the more we fight, the more things eventually will fight hard enough that they'll go away completely. That whatever we want, when we push back against something that whatever we want, we think that it will eventually go away and be eliminated altogether. But fighting against what you don't want is a continual process that will leave you exhausted and never fully satisfied because there will always be something else that you are fighting against, something else that you are pushing away. In reality, whatever you push against pushes back with an equal but opposite force. I mean, it's the law of physics, basically. It's it's whatever you give out comes back to you. Whatever you create, it expands. And the more attention that you put on something with powerful emotion, it doesn't matter what that emotion is, as long as it's a powerful emotion, such as hate or just not, you know, really having a great disdain for something. You're bringing more awareness and creation around it and it grows. Not only are you more aware of it, other people around you are, are aware of it too. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter what the topic is, the more you are anti fill in the blank, anti-war, anti-drugs, anti whatever it is, the war that you create creates more wars. It creates more movements that fuel exactly what you don't want. Now, the problem is, how do you stay away from the things that you don't want? How do you fight for a world, or not even fight, but how do you create a world in which you have things that you want and things that you don't want? The reality is, there's always going to be something that you don't want, but the more attention you place on that topic or that situation, the more aware you are, the more energy you're putting towards that, the more you're creating in that sphere, rather than flipping, and pivoting yourself into thinking about whatever you do want as the opposite, the opposite end of the coin, what exactly do you want? So so when you get caught up in the things that you don't want in your life, it's, in, it's incredibly important to go ahead and start pivoting yourself by going general and thinking about things that are on the opposite end of the spectrum. But again, how do we eradicate the problems on our planet? How do we eradicate the issues that are prevalent in our lives that are there that we, you know, we can't just turn our backs on it and ignore it because it, it won't necessarily go away. And that's true. We don't have to ignore something for things to go away or for them to dissipate. Not at all. We can certainly address them head on, but we do it in a way from a place of powerful emotion of what we do want. So if we're trying to fight hunger, for example, or fight hunger, the more attention we place on hunger just expands that problem and expands the energy funneled toward that problem. But the more we focus on combating hunger through the mechanism of feeding others and bringing satiation and health and nutrition to others that need it, and the more we come from that place, the more opportunities we have to think of more creative, innovative methods to accomplish that goal. Even if it's on a small individual, small scale individual level, we can create a huge impact that can have a rippling effect throughout time. And you can take this, and you can apply this to any situation. Things like money, for example. If you're wanting more money, but you're always focused on just not having the money to pay for this or that or to get whatever you want, it's, it's incredibly important for you to get off that subject. It's incredibly important for you to get off that subject, go general about the things that you do want in your life. And instead of focusing on that, you start funneling, funneling your attention toward the more general aspects of, of what you want. And so that's basically, you know, you're wanting more abundance, you're wanting more freedom. Start mentioning the emotional terms tied with the thing that you actually want. Pivoting away from the things that you don't want, that you're trying to fight against, that you're actively, you know, putting a ton of energy to fight against. Start thinking about the opposite of what you do want and then going general and start building that emotion from there. So again, for the, on the topic of money, you can start with just the feeling emotions of what it would be like to have the money that you need to be financially secure and abundant. So it would be freedom, just, just emotional words, freedom, movability, ease, 
abundance, access, all those, all those terms that you can think of that are tied to abundance and just start going general and feeling better and better about the thing that you actually do want. Because a lot of times it's easier to focus on the things that we don't want and fight against those because it's, it, it's just an easier target. Um, there's some sort of draw that we have, that negativity that we can just feed into and it expands and expands and expands. We do this as a, as a society too. We, ta we attach the word anti to something in order to fight against it, but we just create more, we just create more of that at which we're fighting. So, and honestly, I think the reason is it's not just a spiritual concept or an inner energy concept. I think just psych psychologically too, whenever we have something to fight against, it gives us a purpose. But when you can start thinking about fighting for the things that you want in the world, equality, world peace, abundance, and you know, all those things that you want in the world and start thinking about those things and the solutions to accomplishing those things and bringing them about into the world, that's where the positive, sustained, persistent action and effects take place in not only the world, but also in just your life on a personal level. So I hope that message was okay and helped a little bit. I'm filming this at night, the night before I'm uploading the video, so I'm kind of just rambling off the top of my head, but if you have any sort of thoughts or, you know, if you think about the, the, you know, the aspect of fighting against things on a spiritual level or a physical level, it, it is exhausting. It takes a lot of your energy and all of that energy can go toward actually creating positive and lasting change in your life, in your world. So if you have any thoughts about this, definitely leave it down in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and please feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stick around and see my future videos. And I will see you later in the next video. Bye.